time for BT Entertainment Weekly, your place to be for all the latest on the entertainment scene. Hi, I'm Gina. And I'm Camila. It's a fantastic Friday. And it's a big one for Biggie Irie. He'll be looking to make us Bajans proud and put down a repeat of 2007 when he won the International Groovy Soca Competition in Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Tonight, he'll be performing his big hit, Need a Rhythm, with the hope of dethroning Marshall Montano and Super Blue, who shared the monarchy last year. And as you can imagine, Bajans there, here, and everywhere are rooting for him. Biggie Irie all the way. Mash it up. Soka King of the world. Barbados all the way. That joke, show the one party mother. So everything last year, but it's going to win this year. I strongly believe, and you know, that it's a wonderful thing for Biggie Irie to make it to the finals in Trinidad. And he has our full support from Barbadians, myself, and a whole heap of people. And it's wonderful that the Trinidadians allow us to also get into Trinidad carnival and be a part of it and I hope one day that we'll also extend a hand of invitation to the artists in Trinidad as well but from my heart respect to Biggie I know he's going to represent excellent in Trinidad and no matter what full hundred full support like you I mean, really is it like you know what I mean like he's really good I really like his vibes and he's gonna do really good in Trinidad and I hope and pray that he can win again twice for Beijing. We are going to support him regardless if he wins or not. But we know it's a tough crowd down there, tough competition. We know Bigari has tenacity and the quality, the experience to win a second time. So from all of us here at BT Entertainment Weekly, good luck, Biggie! Well, the Brewster's Road crew has gone down to support Biggie, but you know they couldn't leave without hosting that final pre-carnival set. Flight 2014 at Kensington Oval. The place was packed and people just partied the entire night and morning. It looks like it was a fantastic night, but you be the judge. <laughs> And by the way, two lucky patrons got to travel all expenses paid with BRC to Carnival. Lucky them. Well, after Carnival comes crop over and we've been giving you some sneak peeks over the past few weeks of what's to come. We can confirm this evening that BRC will be putting a band on the road for crop over for the first time this year. Yep, we got it straight out of the horse's mouth. One of the directors of Bruce's Road Crew, Tremaine Austin. We are looking to bring a band on the road. We're actually working with a group called Mass Invasion. It's going to be a fantastic time. This is something new for us. We're trying it for the first time. So what we are going to do is basically have a section out of their band and we are going to have a grand time on the road. BRC officially starts Crop Over Fets on June 13th with Fiesta. I'm Quace Anderson. This is Island Army 2014 and you are watching BT Entertainment Weekly. We went BT roaming as we do every week and caught up with Akil Bailey, better known as Birdie. 
He's part of the group B4L, and his song, Sexy Girls, has been a hit on the party scene. I was like saying rap and stuff, but he and Barbie that's rap and thing and really saying and so I move on. He talked to us about his move from rap to soca and what his plans are to get involved in other genres. I love music, so I do doing what the people like. I sing for the fans right now. I got sing for what people want, so I can do what I want. So this is the right thing for me. And this is where I get forward again, big in music because I sing for what the people want. So that's what I can do for now. I got reggae and dub and stuff, but that can come out later. On when I get there further in my music business, so I can just start off with the music, the, the record and stuff that I saw lovers, and after that, I will just sing my reggae and slow jazz or what's not. Birdie? Hmm, wonder how he came up with that name. That's something we'll have to find out for you next time, Gina. It's almost time for us to wrap up, but before we go, big congrats to Nathan, Nika, and Haley Lorraine, the winners of this year's Mr. and Miss Queen's College pageant. It was a keenly contested show, but they had the edge. And that's all the time we have for BT Entertainment Weekly, your guide to all the happening events in Barbados today. I'm Gina. And I'm Camila. Do not forget to link us up on www.barbadostoday.bb and like us on Facebook for more. See you next week! week.